Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is sixth part of our Linux monitoring edition with Zabbix. Okay, and in this uh, video, uh, I'm going to configure triggers. So what are triggers basically? Triggers are something like uh, if something happens, so a trigger is turned on, like it triggers an event. So that's, that's very simple. So let's say if uh, my port is not working properly, an event will be triggered okay and if in this event triggers then after this video in the seventh video we will take a look what action we need to take if such event triggers okay so that's the basic simple uh, like explanation of triggers so in order to make or create triggers we'll just go to triggers and you can see here there are different triggers you can add triggers from here or you can just go to configuration hosts and select the specific host uh, for which you want to make, uh, create triggers we can see that oh look now we have 29 graph uh, graphical items if you remember like earlier when we created it was only one graph and within just 30 minutes because I created my last video 30 minutes ago uh, this is uh, like updated awesome so we have like different graphs for all the ports and stuff like that awesome so anyway you can check them uh, one by one so right now we are going back to hosts okay so here the Cisco switch and triggers you can see that we have 28 triggers but I would like to create one trigger of my own click triggers go to create a trigger okay and my trigger name is going to be upper status p1 like I want to check uh, what about my uh, operation status of port 1 of uh, upper status Cisco switch 1 port description is operation status this description is very important because it will give you a clean understanding as what this trigger is going to be about operation status for Cisco switch one port okay now this is the important thing expression so the expression is I need to select the item first what is the item item is like I need to add the port first so therefore let's go back okay cancel this let's save this for a while but no need to save it wait in just a minute let's open this in an other window item create an item and this is Cisco switch one port one the item name it's going to be an SNMP okay the key is Cisco dot s w1 dash port 1 status okay. and if you remember this will go to if can just check upper status one okay and we can check it by going to here yep up so what will happen the status is up and if it goes down then the Trigger, trigger will play in. Okay, the string SNMP community is Salmon121. 
Okay. And you can create number of triggers. That's it. Okay. Okay, now going back, select the item, and yeah, Cisco switch. selected okay so this is basically very confusing but what I understand from this is the last value and the new value so if what do you want to do for example if this value T is 1 right now and if it changes to 0 it's going to uh, start the trigger okay or if the value is 0 and it changes to one it starts the trigger so what i do basically i leave it as it is then just click insert okay and once it's done i basically go to uh, the latest events and check if my trigger is working fine so i'll just give you an idea okay everything is fine that's it we have added the trigger now we go to monitoring and events. Okay, if you see that everything is working fine, operational status, but we have created this operational status of our own. Uh, And okay. okay, let's go to that configuration hosts and triggers yeah now this is fine here this is our uh, trigger which we created and that's enabled it's already enabled but anyway Trigger is enabled and it's showing that not classified. Okay, let's wait for some time. And basically that's how you create the triggers. Let's wait for some time. Monitoring latest data. Triggers. Okay, here. You see that the, there's a problem. The reason is that uh, we need to... That's how I check, actually, how to change this. And I'm going to change it to 1. Okay. Once it's done, let's wait. If you guys have better understanding regarding this... Uh, rule 
like how to change the like regarding this value or you have some a good video or anything you can always post it in the comment section and I will be really help it will be really helpful for other people and myself also so okay now if we go to latest data triggers and the prob the status is okay now okay so this means that we had to have this problem uh, like a value one okay now trigger is set in next video i'm going to show you how to create action okay so thank you for watching and hope to see you in next video goodbye